So also another the other parameter here is the camera path NCP file. Now how to create those NCP files were covered in the tutorial on how to create a ca camera path. So check that tutorial out if you want to know how to create your own custom camera. Um, angles. So what I did was I ran the map earlier and I already created a lot of stuff for this to <clears throat> for this tutorial and I'm just trying to run through as simple as I can but there's so many files involved with making this it's kind of difficult to uh, <clears throat> to um, describe this in a simple way because it's it's anything but simple a at least uh, if you're really new to this So essentially, okay, so what we start out with is we know that we need to use a JavaScript to load the NCO file. And I already made one that is a generic in Embrace that you use um, when you're developing your maps and you assign a script, this custom script that I made. And when you press Shift C, oops. You press Shift C. You get the various options that you'll need to get the to get a conversation started. To have three different options for when you give the quest, after the quest is accepted, and when the quest is complete. So you'll have three different kinds of lines to set up for your NCO file. So we have what will happen if the player hasn't been given the quest yet. So we run through this conversation. We have this one-liner for for the turrets guy and that will that will be defined in an MVO file. So we have an MVO tag and that is located here and the line that's defined in the conversation is right here so you'll see you'll see the first line that the uh, that the NPC will say and it'll come from Al in this case because you gotta you gotta match this part here with a uh, with a cast ID of an NPC and to find out what the cast ID is for NPCs that you want to use for your map because that's something you need to consider when you're planting an NPC on your map <clears throat> whether it's from the original not files or whether you're using a custom not file you need to make sure that that has um, that that has a uh, definition for a cast ID and you need to know what that definition is. If uh, if the model does not have a cast ID, if the model doesn't have a cast ID on it, let's uh, let's take an example for the one that I used in my map is Alessandro, and his cast ID is set here. And if he doesn't, if the the model doesn't have a cast ID, you can add it. It's under Actors, and you just double click Cast ID to add it in. But in this case, it's all it already exists for this particular template. And you'll need to use this string value, and it cannot contain spaces. So make sure it doesn't have spaces on it. Um, to define who is saying this line who's speaking this line here and the NVO file determines how that line should be presented and the NVO file consists of three parameters it consists of the tag which is from the NCO file and it consists of an audio file right now I'm not covering audio files just yet I'll cover audio files later on when I'm talking about jaw synchronization so we can get their jaws to move with the voice at least relatively with the voice but uh, overall we will be covering text because most of the time you will be making a text-based conversation 
unless you can be fortunate enough to find a, a voice actor to help you make mp3s because they have to be in mp3 format they have to be a proper format readable by the engine and they cannot they, they can't be files audio files that were prior ran by Windows Media Player so make sure you didn't play those files in media in media player because media player tends to put um, tags on the mp3 files that uh, that keep them from being played in the game so if your mp3 file happens to not be properly formatted um, it will be replaced with text so that there's that it's a, it's a, not too complicated in the MVO file but this is where this is where you define your conversation now it's not enough just to make the MVO file you need to tell you need to assign this MVO file to the chronicle that you intend to use so let's go under chronicles here and I talked about setting up a, a meta file in one of the earlier uh, mapping tutorials but uh, I'll just uh, give a quick one for you. You need a meta file to be assigned to your chronicle and when you go into your meta file you'll need to define the NVO so you define your NVO file which is right here so you define that and then this will contain the definitions for what is loaded in your NCO and your NCO is pretty much the basis of the whole conversation really this is uh, this is what what makes the conversation happen also each time a line is uh, is passed um, a signal is sent to the Java API environment with a call event that includes that includes the current line and the current event. So this is the this is the uh, this is the event that's called, and this is in the this is the JavaScript here. That's it in the background. So each time the NCO file brings up a line or brings up a new event, it'll call to the conversation reached event in the API environment and it will send what the current event is and notice this this is an integer this is just a number so in the case of this uh, initial startup sequence um, the first event that you define is given an ID of zero the first line that you define is given an ID of zero and each new line increments by one so if you were to create another line here If you were to create another line here, um, the next time when this line um, arrives, when this line is shown in the game, another another call to this event has been made, and it'll it'll show line one rather than line zero, and the current event will still be zero. If you uh, if you set up, say for example, instead of a answer return. Let's add another one here for an answer go to. And we'll, we'll call this tag info01. And instead of a uh, integer value for a return value, we, uh, we're going to put a uh, we're going to put a give one here and then we can create another event and we can name that give one and that can have a new set of lines in it and be sure to input who is going to be speaking if you are having another participant say for example I have a uh, a Nezka on that map I can actually use her ID as well 
Um, a Nazca is actually, uh, if I go into my map here and I check this, I used a Nazca, just a basic level of Nazca, and if you go into the template, I would think that a Nazca is located in Dark Ages, so if you go under there, you get a Nazca here. And her cast ID is, well, it's, it's a Nazca. So if I wanted to have another participant have Ineska say something, I can put that in there. And it's not really cap sensitive, so you shouldn't worry about that. But you've got to make sure that the name matches overall. 